start the vlog, I want you to know that at the end of the vlog, I have a little collage of pictures that I took throughout the day. If you guys want to stick around till the end and watch them, that'd be great. Just want to let you know they're there. I think I'm going to do something like that more often. I love taking pictures with this camera. I was never really a picture taker, but now with this camera, it takes amazing pictures. So throughout the day, if I see interesting things and I want to take a few pictures, I'll put them in a collage at the end of the vlog for you guys. So you guys can always go to the end and check that out if you want to. Let's start the vlog! Good morning, Diesel. Good morning, Diesel. Diesel Weasel. At your service, man. At your service. Sergeant! How you doing, man? How you doing? I know it's it's good, man. I stay up good? No, no, you stay up there for now. You stay up there for now, all right? All right, can you sit? Can you sit? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, good boy! Good boy! All right, you gotta stay up there, okay? Sit. Or lay down. Even better. And good morning. I always do it with the wrong hand because I hold the camera with my right hand. Happy, happy Canada Day Independence Day week. July 1st is Canada Day. July 4th is Independence Day. USA Day. It's a big week in North America. We're celebrating the fact that we can make our own decisions. And I'm still trying to figure out where my brain is. I left it around here somewhere. Once I find it, We'll do our pre-trip and we'll be on our way. Oh man, I just sneezed too, so just, whoo! That's no way to start the day. Much better, much better. We're ready to hit the road, guys. We are here at the casino like we left off last night in Northwood, Iowa. I'm actually at the rest area, but the rest area is right beside the casino and the casino is, sort of dominates the area here, so we'll just say we're at the casino. Didn't go and gamble though, don't worry. I saved every penny. They didn't get any of my money. Speaking of pennies, the United States still uses pennies. And it throws me off every time I get change back from a cashier. They give me pennies, like, what are these for? They just take up space in my wallet or in my pocket. Canada abolished the penny last year, or the year before I think, and uh, we just use the nickel. That's our smallest coin now. Because pennies are kind of useless. They cost more to produce than they're actually worth. Yeah, there's an interesting fact for you. The United States still uses the penny. Nothing wrong with that. It's just, I got a lot of pennies lying around. I don't know what to do with them. I guess I'll bring them to the bank. All right, well, enough of that talk. Let's get on the road. You want to see the road? I want to see the road. We got a few hours to go to where we unload, and then I believe we are going to Davenport to reload. I'm not too sure yet. I will let you know when I know. Alright, we're passing through some civilization here. You may notice there are houses and signs and roads and cars and people. I would say this is civilization. So we're here in Iowa. Uh, I think this is the Cedar Valley region is what they call it. Cedar Rapids that we're passing through. And we just turned onto the 218. Uh, very soon we're going to turn onto I 380. Two miles, three kilometers. We got another hour worth of driving or so a little over till we unload and then it looks like we're headed over to uh, Illinois Romeoville Illinois I wonder if I'll find Juliet there in Romeo Illinois we're just turning on to the interstate 380 here there's those cameras again watching us always watching always beeping over your shoulder what you up to what do you care government go away I do like it that they got the cameras there. I guess they can uh, sort of tell what traffic conditions are like, and if there's an accident, it sort of helps to see who's at fault. But oh, look at this! Look at this! You're gonna make me squeak right through. You're gonna make me thread the needle, are you? Okay, here we go. We're gonna thread the needle. Tight. 
fight like a tiger. Oh, even here, even tighter, even tighter. Ooh, squeak through that one. All right. If you don't know where your wheels are on the road going through there, you might scratch your fenders up, just saying. Drive 8.8 kilometers on the 380 south. All right then, how about that? We'll try that. Yep, we're at one of those receivers. Gotta wear the whole getup. And they won't even let me wear my hard hat sideways. Gotta wear it right. <laughs> we're at this uh, receiver, which I knew was one of those hardcore ones that, you know, you gotta wear this, you gotta wear this, you gotta wear this, you gotta wear approved steel toe shoes. Like they're afraid I'm gonna stub my toe and sue them. I always say, I know the world doesn't work this way, but I always say, just put a big sign. First thing I see when I come in your driveway, hey, if you hurt yourself, not our fault. Just saying, you're responsible for any and all damages, blah, 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 any time lost because of your accident, blah, 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 blah. And then I don't have to wear all this stuff, but. Really, it's not that bad. Whatever, I gotta dress up. Every now and then I like dressing up, whatever. <laughs> the only safety glasses I have right now are the tinted ones. Cause I have my clear ones uh, at home. I use them on my motorcycle. Cause I have a tinted visor. So at night I raise the visor up and wear the safety shades so that my eyes don't get hit with mosquitoes and bugs. So I just, <laughs> I just have these here, but they work, whatever. They are approved. Keep me from going blind while I'm here delivering. Anyways, we gotta wait here now for a while until the guy in front of me gets unloaded and then the guy that's in front of him needs to get unloaded. I think I'm like third or fourth in line here, so we might be here a little while. But we are headed to Romeoville, Illinois after this yet, so I don't know if I have to keep all this stuff on or not, but sort of make it look cool. You think they'll let me walk around like this? Should I try it? No, I won't. <laughs> oh, just wear it the right way. Don't want to get myself in trouble. Don't rock the boat. What if I'm like a bobblehead walking around? The... <laughs> okay, it's time to be serious. A lot of serious stuff going on here. People could get hurt. Safety is no joke. <laughs> well, that was fun. Got to dress up and everything. Felt all special and shiny and whatnot. And I didn't even hurt myself. So now that we're empty and we've left that receiver, we're headed to our next shipper. We have to pick up a load that goes directly back to Canada. I'm not allowed to pick up a load in the United States and deliver it in the United States. That's called interstating, also known as stealing American jobs. Can't do that. I wouldn't do that. So I take freight from Canada across the border into the United States and I have to pick up another load that goes directly back to Canada. Makes sense, right? I'm paying Canadian taxes. I should be doing something that benefits the Canadian economy. And I should be allowing Americans to haul the loads for Americans. Does that make sense? And I don't have any issues with that. I'll go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. That's what I do. So we're now headed over to Romeoville. Romeo? I wonder if Juliet's there. Romeoville, Illinois. And that load is destined to Regina, Saskatchewan due there on Monday, so we'll see. I might stop at home on the way, I may drop this in the yard, pick up a different load, I don't know. I haven't really discussed that yet. We'll figure that out later. So we're here at the pilot, just across the road from Iowa 80, world's largest truck stop. The reason why we're here and not there, because they got the Blue Beacon truck wash here. I don't know why the Blue Beacon isn't actually at the world's largest truck stop, which is just across the street, but they decided to put it here instead. So, hey, I'm a pilot flying J guy anyway, so I'm gonna stop here and get the old girl washed, give her a bath. She deserves it, she's been working hard for it. 
But look at this landscape behind me, eh? That's Iowa. Isn't that amazing? Bunch of little farms and stuff. Very much like southern Manitoba, like I said, like very much. I like it out here. But I think this bumper needs a little bit of a shine. What do you think? At least a wash. Like, look at all the bugs we got on the front of it here. Stinks like fish. <laughs> I never really understood why splattered bug guts on your truck smell like fish. Did any of you get that? What is that pickup and that jet ski doing in line for the big truck wash? You know, they have uh, smaller washes where you could go with that thing, you know, whatever. You want to go through the big boy bath? All right. He wants to have a bath with the big trucks. Okay. He wants to have a big truck wash, not just a regular truck wash. He wants a big truck wash. That's what he wants. I guess if he pays them, what are they gonna do? Say no, I don't want your money? <laughs> oh, looks like this line is moving here. I think I'm gonna go right up behind him. <laughs> Intimidate him with my moose bumper. You wanna be in there with the big boys? You're gonna have to be stuck between the big boys. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna wash that in there? Huh, strange. All nice and clean and on the way. Eastbound Interstate 80, crossing from Iowa into Illinois, I believe. Very nice. Very nice river they got there. Very nice. Well structured, well made, good flowing. A river that size, I'd more so call a moving lake, but whatever. You want to call it a river? It's a river. Speed limit goes up to 70 from 65, and here's the sign. Welcome to Illinois, land of Lincoln. We still have another two hours and a bit to go. So far, it's been a good day. You know, it's not an overly long, tiring day, but it was a good full day. And tomorrow will be a nice full day again on the way back. I still have to figure out where I'm going, if I'm going to the yard with this or if I'm going straight to Regina. I don't think I'll be going straight to Regina because I'll be sitting there all weekend and then doing nothing in my truck. I'd rather stop at home then because it's, you know, on the way. But, oh, that guy had a double blowout. Double whammy! You see that guy on his trailer? Oh, the camera, I'm probably too far away. He had two tires blown on the same axle on the same side on a trailer. Double whammy. Well, we're sitting here trying to find a parking spot at the truck stop. We're waiting for this guy to get in there because he's blocking off this whole driveway here. He's doing an all right job. He's been, well, taking him a little while, but he hasn't hit anything. That's what's most important. I've been sitting here only, what, I don't know, 10 minutes waiting for him to get in that spot. But at least he hasn't hit anything. And he's got a spotter back there too, so he's doing all right. So as soon as I can find a parking spot, I'm gonna park this baby. I don't know where I'm going to park though. Everything's full. There was a problem with the shipper. They didn't have the load ready. It wasn't there. So I'm going to the truck stop to sleep for the night and we can sort this all out in the morning. So I don't really know what to do now. But I let dispatch and everybody know that, hey, not good, no good. So I guess we'll sleep on it. I'll wake up first thing in the morning, get on a horn with them. Be like, hey, I say hey a lot, don't I? Hey! <laughs> Fix it. Tell him he's wrong. The camera wants to focus on that nice T680 back there. You see that? Nice. 
focus on my, my face. I know the truck is a lot prettier than my face, but there we go. Well, he's just about back into his spot right now, so I'm gonna keep wandering around until I find my own parking spot. Might have to go down the road to the next truck stop. So we finally found a place to park. Had to pay 10 bucks to park. And don't get me wrong, I do not ever pay for parking. I. But today I did. I'm out of hours and there's absolutely nowhere to park. I went to four different truck stops. Packed. Like, ridiculous. And no one lets you park anywhere. Because you can't park on the side of the street by the customer. They had signs up everywhere saying they'll tow you away. They'll ticket you. Can't park anywhere. So there's this little dark parking lot that they sent me to where I can pay 10 bucks for the night and there's a bunch of trucks parked in here that couldn't find anywhere to park either. Like that's the problem with the trucking industry today in the United States. There is never, I repeat, never enough parking. It's ridiculous. They make us stop at a certain time. You can't drive more than this and you know actually if we go over our hours, you know it's actually a federal offense. They can arrest you for that. They can arrest you for going over your hours so you have to stop but they don't provide you with anywhere to park. Rant over, whatever. So I paid the 10 bucks here. I talked to the guy, I said, are you seriously gonna charge me 10 bucks? The parking lot is dark, not one light. Complete dark parking lot. Gravel, potholes everywhere. It's like a parking lot from Canada. Except not even Canada charges you to park there because they know, they know, yeah, it's a pretty bad parking lot. You just go and just try not to get stuck, okay? And you just park in the back there. I won't charge you anything. I hear they charge us 10 bucks to get in here. I was like, you serious? You know what the, I talked to the guy that was like, so how do I know my fuel's not gonna get stolen? I'm in this dark parking lot. And he's, you know what his reply was? You don't. Great, great. Anyways guys, so. I got the dogs with me, I feel safe here. There's other trucks here and there's drivers in them. So other drivers are staying here too. I just don't like staying at these kind of places. But oh well, what can you do? Thanks for joining me today guys. We will see you right here in the morning. I will see you then. Don't forget, I got a new Facebook page. If you haven't liked it yet, go down below to the description. It's facebook.com slash official trucker Josh. Go down there, give it a like if you want. I know Facebook's been really confusing over the last little while. This is Trucker Josh's Facebook, the only place you will find me, Diesel and Sergeant, on the Facebook world. You can also follow me on Twitter or Instagram or whatever else. Periscope. I do live broadcasts every couple of days. So much. So much, so many places you can follow me. Follow me everywhere. Follow me to the ends of the earth. Please, I need friends. <laughs> oh, I'm just joking, I'm good. Guys, I'm gonna edit this vlog. As you can tell, I'm pretty tired from looking for a parking spot. And my load wasn't ready either. So, eh, it's been a kind of meh evening, but we're gonna make it a good night. I'll see you tomorrow for another good day. <laughs>